Yo, what's going on guys? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix lag in Roblox and increase your performance to the best possible you can get. But this is going to be a longer video, which means that there are going to be more steps that are going to be taken in place to improving your performance. So make sure you guys do stick around to the end of this video as I'm going to be showing you guys a lot of crucial steps to improve and optimize your performance on Roblox. So yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is search up storage and go to the first one open this up and then make sure storage sense is off like this just ruins your fps and you don't want to have this on so just make sure this is off because it all it does is just run in the background and you know you don't want that so make sure this is off all right so now what you're going to do is windows and on your keyboard and type in the following ms config like this press on ok and what you're going to do now is go to boot press on advanced options and check the number of processors and make sure this is on the maximum amount of threads that you guys have this is so that you can actually use all of your threads and cores um for me when i had this off only like two out of my six cores were showing up so this was really useful so make sure this is on the maximum amount so for me it's 12 and this is going to make sure i can at least use all six of my cores so make sure you do that and then press ok i don't need to because i've already done it and then press apply and you're good to go all right so now we're going to be using the msi afterburner now this is an overclocker for your gpu in case you didn't know and this lets you add values as long as you don't go with a really high value you should be good to go the worst that can really happen is your pc crashes and restarts just because of a high value but then again i would suggest doing this at your own risk and i'm not responsible if anything happens but your best bet is to search for your graphics card and then use the values that are shown but anyways if you want to download it go to this one the 4.6.5 final release and download that all right so once you've downloaded the msi afterburner what you're going to do is open it up and it should look something like this now with the graphics card that you have it honestly depends what graphics card you have so for me i've got a gtx 1050 ti now i'm still testing for the best overclocking settings to maximize my fps but at the moment i am using 125 for my core clock and for my memory clock i'm currently using 500 now I would suggest you guys search on YouTube for a full in-depth video about the best core clock settings for your graphics card. So what we want to do is search for the, for example, if you have an RTX 3070 Ti, you search up RTX 3070 Ti OC settings, which stands for overclock settings. But anyways, you want to go on that video and then you should see someone that is testing all of the core clock settings. They may only test one, but either way, um, that should be the best setting and if you want to you could go into reddit and look for the best ones Now that's what I did, but they didn't really help me out So I figured my own one at the moment as you can see I'm using 125 with 500 now a lot of people like to increase their volt by 25 But I wouldn't recommend this so if they have a voltage setting with 25 um, I wouldn't really suggest it you can do it if you want but for my personal preference I wouldn't increase the voltage especially with if you don't know how much electric or shall I say voltage your power supply is using and also before you do this I would also recommend that you guys have extra power so for example if you have like 500 watts and your PC is only using 300 400 you should be good to go but just make sure your PC isn't using the entire power supply now I don't want to go too much in detail but you can check PC power picker for that and how much watts your PC is using just put your specs and your power supply and at the bottom it should say the amount of power your PC is using but yeah and also you can control your temp limit now for me I'm just going to set this to 97 because that's the max I don't want a temp limit because my PC doesn't overheat so I don't need to have this uh, minimized another heads up that I wanted to mention is with testing these settings with the same graphics card they might not always work for you so what happens sometimes in games for example when you play a game with these overclock settings your game might crash depending on if it's set too high so if it's set too high usually your game is likely gonna crash if your graphics card cannot handle it so i would suggest just keep on lowering and lowering until you just don't crash at all so for me sometimes what i know is that it might not crash at first it might crash after a few days so after crashing after a few days what i do is i lower it again and then i notice sometimes it might crash in a week's time i know it sounds weird but sometimes your pc may not crash now but it might crash a week later you know 
Alright, so what we're gonna do now is search for game mode. Now, before I tell you guys whether to turn this on or off, there is a lot of misconceptions and people are commented saying this doesn't work, this and that, but really it just depends on your PC. So let me explain it like and put it this way. So usually this is better off for people who haven't updated their Windows, but for people that are on a newer version of Windows 10 or even 11, this is better to be on but I would definitely say try this on and off and just see which one runs better usually the people with the newest Windows update will have this um, on because it that's just how it is with the recent updates I think they've maybe made a better job with improving this but yeah and if you have an older version of Windows I would suggest that you guys turn this off but like I said you do want to test between them both now this applies the same as hardware accelerate gpu scheduling now for a lot of people this is better off but for example with me personally i figured that i average way higher fps when i have this on than off so you guys have to test between both of these settings on and off and see what works better for you windows or not and type in temp this time and then now what you want to do is control and a to select everything then press on delete and just do this for all current items and skip and now what you want to do is the same thing again but this time we're going to do percentage temp percentage and then press ok and then what we're going to do control a to select everything once again right click press on delete and it should start deleting things make sure this is checked if it comes up with a pop-up and then press the skip which is just going to ignore what can't be deleted and there you go you've cleared up some things on your pc that you don't need like these are just temporary files that your pc does not need so it's good to just remove them every now and then all right so now we want to do is download power control which will be in the link in the description and then you're gonna want to open it up and once you open it up go to over here and make sure this is set to the bit some highest performance one press make active and make sure you guys are copying this exact same settings i'm using if it is different make sure it's all on 100 percent that you can press apply and also i wouldn't recommend this if you're on a laptop just because of heating issues that usually come with laptops when you're gaming so i wouldn't want to make this any worse but if you are on pc feel free to use this and now what you're going to do is press ok all right so now go back under the link from power control and you're going to also want to download process lasso and download this this is like the key part to this so make sure you do actually download this and open it up now once you have opened it what you want to do is go to main on the top left i know it does look a bit confusing but it's pretty simple if you just follow what i say so go to main and go to active power profile and you want to select the bit some highest performance and also now go down and make sure performance mode is enabled all right so now what we're going to do is join a random roblox game it literally does not matter what game it is we just need it running in the background we're not going to touch roblox whatsoever so here's what we're going to do is go back into process lasso and then look for where roblox is and you could just spam R on your keyboard until you find it and as you can see Roblox player better is here and right click right click on it and go to CPU priority and set this to always high and make sure this is high and then go to CPU affinity and go to always and here's what we're going to do so if you guys have a Ryzen CPU you want to set this to disable hyper threading because generally this saying works better on your Ryzen CPUs so um, the best way to put this is what this does is as you can see I have a bunch of these um, CPU logical processors as well so basically the best way to put this is when you disable hyper threading this is going to use your logical cores so it's going to use your main ones not the ones that the PC decides to use when your main ones feel lazy that's that's kind of like the best way to put it so it's better to do this on ryzen cpus than intel so if you have an intel one it's better to just set this to none search for edit power plan and now what you want to do is go over and press cancel in case this isn't the one you're using and go to the one you're using and press on change plan settings and make sure turn off the display is set to never and also put the computer to sleep set this to never and then now what you want to do is go to change advanced power settings and then what we want to do now is scroll down and look for uh, where it says processor power management all right so if you have any heating issues or anything like that i wouldn't recommend doing this especially if you're on a laptop 
um, just because of cooling issues that a lot of laptops come with but anyways just go to here and then go to minimum processor state and set this to 100 and set the system cooling policy to active and set the maximum processor state to 100 this is just going to make sure that your PC is running at full power all the time for the best FPS you can get possible but yeah after that you can press apply and press ok and you can close out of this